Hey, so yeah, I'm playing some Druid today. <laughs> I need to try to climb some. I don't know if my, uh, if my venture into, like, Dragon Pallies and stuff worked out too well. I'm still gonna go for, for Ramp and maybe even, like, a Wrath to kill the Northshire. I guess I got all of what I want. Not the wall growth, but it's good enough. Greetings. <laughs> Having a good 420 so far. I don't know if I'm gonna coin out the other shade. Maybe. We'll have to see. My weekend was good. I mean, I'm, I guess I spent mostly like. Doing a lot of tests of Hearthstone, playing, um, or watching League of Legends, I guess. Turn three, turn four, four plus three. <laughs> okay, so if I pass the next turn, I can play the Dr. Boom with the Innervate. I'm just feeling like the reason why I didn't want to coin out everything is because it's kind of weak to AoE. Let's see, if I coin out the Shade, he will pass next turn, all can I circle? Yeah, I'm not going to make the race. I guess I should just probably not like coin out everything <laughs> no, no blazing today unfortunately welcome back to the strife crew crow fist i mean if i'm not coining it out i'm, I'm okay with committing the second one to all kind of circle i think i should attack because turn four, Alkana Circle will clear me anyways. Otherwise, like, I guess I should because it's four attack minion for priests, like priests plus four attack. That's like the sweet spot. The sweet spot. No Alkana. Yeah, I should trade here. If I double Wrath here, um, this is gonna die shower death anyways, maybe, so... <laughs> I didn't want to get this Shadow Madness. I don't know if that's how big that is. Maybe it was okay. It seems like it's too, too much mana for him to do everything to clear. Like if he shout mass this attack and I'd, I don't know, I guess he could do something, but... I'm gonna... Attack, yeah. Can't shout mass this. Also, this is the Cabal Shapri's turn. He actually has some targets, so if I don't attack, I don't pressure him enough for the Cabal. By attacking, I kind of pressure the Cabal more. In fact, he he has to feel from his perspective he's dead if he Cabals, since I'm he's leaving up ten power and three minions, so Savage Roar. I have no time for games. All right, let's see if I get something. I wonder how bad this can go for me if I Lothab go face here. He can trade, steal one of my guys, guaranteed, and then a Cabal one. I have like an okay chance of killing him. I guess... I mean, no matter what, I can't really play around it too much, unfortunately. But, should be okay. Good thing is I lock out his turn, so he can't cast spells. It's like, it's hard to line up. It's hard to control the Sylvanas without casting spells like H Holy Nova or something. Cabal can kill one Boombop, but I don't know. I got a couple of nice, nice Kazan Mystics. Feels so good. It's like the best feeling when you're playing Freeze Mage. I mean, we're playing against Freeze Mage and you just crush them. <laughs> Miss Lethal. I wish. Alright, that went really well for me. I think I have Lethal if the Boombot doesn't kill me. Wait, wait, do I have Lethal? No, I don't quite have Lethal. Unless my Boombot gets lucky. I'm gonna try it. Well played. That should be lethal. The end is 
Fupa has to hit face my Bombazo. I'm trying pretty hard just to climb today. It's only 10 more days of the season and uh, drop pretty low in Legend. These are actually cards I want. Swipe is super good against Implosion. Implosion? But then I kind of want to keep her more. Chow. I think I'm probably okay keeping the swipe. Actually, no, I don't have a minion yet anyways, yeah. So there's not going to be an implosion unless, until I play minion anyways, and uh, I kind of want to hedge. If it's handlock, then if I have a wrath and a swipe, I just won't have any pressure against handlock, so. Mountain Giant or Twilight Drake on turn 4, that, that's so uh, dependent. Most of the time you would probably want to drop Twilight Drake first, though. But, I mean, it's very dependent. I'm gonna save the Wrath here. For the wild. Even though I could die to Morapult. It's just like, because on turn 4, you, you have like a 4-9 or, or whatever, 4-8, and it trades good against small minions. Mountain Giant, you feel better if you want to like race them, I guess. Like, you don't really want to attack Mountain Giant into into like a 3-3, but you you don't feel too bad attacking a 4-8 or 4-9 into a 3-3. No, I kind of like Scenarius a little bit more, but I don't have a huge preference about it. It's not even that bad, 4-7 here. If I play Solanus, he can... um. Attack my Sylvanas and then Hellfire. That, that's probably not great. Emperor is kind of weak to like a Mortal Coil or or, the, or I guess the same move kind of. I'm probably gonna remove this so I can do four and then attack with the Shade. I feel like two ones not very valuable though. So I'm, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well cycle it maybe and just trade the two one extra. Picking up both Savage Roars is pretty good with the Thorazon. <laughs> I can maybe double combo this game. At least his drakes haven't been too big because the turn one's on the chance. So. Okay, yeah, so if I get one activation of Emperor, these will both be two mana, and if I could top deck the uh, Force Nature, that's a 10 mana double combo. Or, yeah, that's what you call double combo. My shield for Argon. Probably save this Keeper still. I'm just kind of throwing away Emperor if I play it. It'll probably trade. But I do get my stuff cheaper. I think it's pretty big. Like, I can play Drake plus Shade. Um, otherwise, Sylvanas is probably just trade for the extra 2 3. I, I guess Emperor. I already have the both Savage Wars, so. Um, <laughs> tell us more about 1 on 1 coaching. I don't know. I guess I. Usually just uh, go over the ladder games like as spectator and talk about the matchups and stuff. Or you know, the gameplay, I guess. Faceless manipulator. Oh, that's gotta be pretty annoying. I have no time for games. Do I want to drop the Azure Drake here? I don't think so. I, I think just the hidden. Shade is probably better. Save my debate. <laughs> I think the graphics are fine, right? It's not nothing wrong with it. I don't. There's not even a anti-alias in in Hearthstone. I wonder if the faces means that uh, he's running combo handlock, like with Arcane Golem, Power Realm, Faceless, or <laughs> no? Concede? I don't think I'm anywhere near conceding. I don't even know if I'm losing. It was a bad faceless, but didn't ri I mean, I, I wasn't predicting that. That kind of deck is better now with Emperor too. I'm assuming he has Zone Emperor in his deck with faceless, so you can also, I guess, I get bigger combos with, with the the cheese combo. Nice. So he doesn't get two activations, but he didn't have an owl, so. Okay. 
Let's see what I get first before thinking about it too much. I can't see a move with that Azure Drake. Okay, so after this, um, it's either going to be just Hero Power Face or Keeper Silence. I do kind of use my Keeper, kind of a waste in a way. Eh, I'll silence it, it makes more sense. It does give him a really good, nice Shadow Flame though. But then I don't sense that self sense next turn. No or I trade both next turn and then drop the Scenarius. So I get to save my Shadow Flame. I'm not sure. That might sound okay. It's like too. It's too weak because I have to burn my Keeper into this little one. So it's basically just a 5 5 without the Death Rattle and then he's getting that much value from me. I can still Docker Boom and Science the next turn if I really need to. Like with the Nervate. Definitely gonna be swipe turn and, and keeper. I think that's. I'm, I mean, I wonder if I could have done something better. It's like weird because there's like tension, like. I couldn't have silenced this first before swiping or else steal my keeper. I wonder if there's like a better way I could have done that. I can't attack after swipe because it'll steal my th steal my minion after a swipe. So I don't know. Maybe there was. I think this is probably the only way I saw the. I got the I got the important part off the 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 void caller. He just sends demons too, so let's let's wrap this. Unfortunately this is we could be JH or Snorris isn't. But um I didn't want to leave it up because he can power roaming shadow flame. Swipe the other one. Can't silence and swipe after. Unless you mean silence the Solanus, but I need to silence the Void Caller. If I si if I play another minion so many before killing Solanus, then I'll get something stolen. I'm sure of lethal if this sticks. I just need to think um how much mm. I need to, to combo him. This is nine damage, plus eight, plus eight. Wait, sixteen plus nine, twenty-five. That's not actually lethal. Is that lethal if he doesn't do JH? 7 plus 4 plus 4. I'm kind of scared of Power Shadow Flame, but yeah. I don't really feel that great about Innervate Wall Growth. I guess I can integrate wall growth any turn. Mm. I can always save the innervate. And like say I have nothing next turn, basically now I play out all my hand, I can always just wall growth next turn and draw and I might not be able to need to use my innervate. So unless I'm really digging for something last turn, like innervate or wall growth first. Um I think it's fine to drop so Snarius. I can't think of that many moves better than Snarius anyways. Oh <laughs> combo would have been better, actually I could have killed him. Yeah, I wonder if that's a mistake actually. I just I just realized I can actually wall growth into force nature and still combo double. Wow. How many demons does he have? Oh my god, so expensive. Just uh discarding. Another Doom Garden Molten Giant. Five plus four plus four. So five plus eight is thirteen. I don't have enough damage to kill him. Wall growth first. Wait, if I play this first, I'll have seven mana. It's this wall growth first, so I've got a chance to lethal. Force nature, and I think Drew Call kills him. If I play Azure Drake, I don't think I have enough mana to lethal, anyways, at this point. Force nature, I can't play anymore with combo. 
5 plus 8, 13. Okay, so yeah, I can't kill him. Let's just go ahead and play Belcher. Stronger move over here. Don't need the life either. He's already discard one mold, so I'm not playing around second mold either. And um, he's not even that low, so. Isn't Druid bad in the meta? I don't know. Clanta's been doing really good at Druid. This is a version with um, fairly heavy taunt slots, though. It's not the same as his list. I think he's running double Druid Call, no load then. Double Druid Call's better against, uh, better against Zoo, for sure. But that's better against like Rogue and Freeze Mage. Maybe it's better to run double Druid Call as well. Druid Call, I mean, Belcher is, I guess that's like really good against Zoo and, and Hunter. Double face this is like... <laughs> That's what I thought, like, it's very hard to run that many demons with double sense demons. <laughs> I don't think I can really pull through it, unfortunately. Because I have to overkill this so much with double savage roar. I must safeguard the land. Like, my hero power can kill a slime, it's like overkilling it for 4 versus 2, and then I have to overkill the Belcher, so... I could have only attacked the scenario, so double, double Savage. Actually, um, let me actually change the Dreaded Bolt. It's because, um... Zeus should be more common on ladder than Freeze Mage. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe because, like, I think Freeze Mage is really strong right now, but... It's because, like, I guess people just don't like playing it or something? It seems like Druid Flame is more for um, ramp or something that doesn't use like double combo because if you're using double savage or at least you'd rather use the shade. Swipe is good against Hunter. Want Chow, but then I have one Chow, Innervate Wall Growth Keeper. Those are the I guess I'd rather have Innervate Wall Growth or Keeper, but Shade's like the next best card after this. Or swipe is the next best after this. Against Hunter, at least. Missed his... Missed his one drop and two drop. Or he just doesn't have, like, a curve if he wants to coin out a two drop or something. I don't know. Because he had a coin, so he could have coined out a two drop as well. I hate Freeze because I don't like Warrior. Yeah. For the wilds. I think it's actually winnable for his mage versus warrior now, but it's not good at all. It's like not not like zero anymore, maybe. I think it's because Demper with the Arch Mage, you can potentially potentially win. <laughs> no no wall growth thing, right? But I mean I can't complain too much. He's had a bad opening as well. I think is bad. <laughs> I don't know what he's- maybe he's not a normal hunter. Maybe it's some kind of control hunter. We'll see. Wow. Did use it. <laughs> Man, what's going on? I think this is better move against face hunter keeper if i'm scared of freezing trap maybe it's better just like kill this and then freeze back my keeper that would be better i think against mid-range hunter I think this is actually face hunter. It seems more likely it's face hunter, even though his missiles drops for some reason to me. Hmm. Where shall I strike? Like he was scared of the using the freezing trap, for example. He actually killed my shredder. No, I'm not sure anymore.
Good thing is that I killed the mad scientist. There shouldn't be any more secrets. If that's um, snake and an explosive or snake and freezing. I think I can draw here. I don't want to proc the secrets. Um, he'll have three charge on his bow. I don't want him to get that right now. <laughs> he misplayed it. Yeah, so if, against face, I'd rather heal, but then, like, if it is face, then he has, like, explosive and freezing. So basically, like, if it's face, his secrets kind of suck anyway, so I can just kill him. And against mid range, I'd rather draw because I still need to deal with Dr. Boom or something. So I'd try to draw into BGH and stuff. Oh, that's nice. That's both bows with two traps. Feels so good. Not that I have attack. Alright, I'm assuming that's going to be Snake Trap. I'm going to proc it later with Swipe. Probably some mid-range here and miss a lot of drops. I must safeguard you. Yeah, if I left up two secrets to kill it, but now maybe silence it. Because I already proc the freezing, probably has two freezing, so... I could have, like, killed it before dropping the Ancient Lore. Unfortunately, I wasn't sure what like it feels gonna be explosive so i don't want to drop my minion into explosive <laughs> well i spent last week playing fun decks drop a lot of rankings that i need to climb now wow that's surprising I mean, I have the heal. It's I'm gonna need a swipe though. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll probably still survive another turn, and I will win the turn after. I'm gonna just forget about rocking this secret. I'm <laughs> worried actually with the mad damage it took. Oh man, dead. It, w it was face hunter. This is face hunter with freezing and snake trap. Crow fist. Okay, mage, I want um, single target. Swipe isn't even that good. Like, they don't have implosion or, or muster. If it's like tempo mage, they have like mana worms and three twos. You can't really swipe multiple minions down. I'd rather have a keeper. Keeper is really good. Snipe like the three two. Calculate one roar for the two minions. Mm, I see. I don't even remember how I did the math, but good thing I attacked at the end to trade. Still, probably be tempo mage with with a zombie chow, unless he's actually playing like a like grinder mage or something. I don't know. I've never seen anyone play it. I'm not sure what the zombie chow means. If I play Sludge Belcher, he can use Frostbolt, but then if I just cycle the I kind of want to cycle because I have a lot of Innervates and Coins, so I, I, I kind of want to draw the more minions, but then if I don't play Belcher this turn, I might have to deal with Entity as well. That's like a lot of things to consider. Maybe just play the Belcher anyways. I don't want to deal with Mirror Entity or Kirin Tor Mage next turn. Like, if I just cycle my Wrath, then I won't have Wrath for Kirin Tor. Do you can also play both Kirin Tor and Mirror Entity? Tempo Mage. For 
kind of fortunate, like, I messed up my curve. Kind of. Tempo Mage oftentimes uses um, Rag and and Dr. Boom, so I don't think I should play Tempo BGH. Yeah. I'll show them. I'll show them all. I must safeguard. It's gonna kill my slime for free, but um, the secret is more. It's more bad for Druid. Mirror Entity for Druid is like your worst enemy. Not worth it to save my slime. Kazan, I think, like, Druid has a good enough time against Freeze Mage, or, I mean, Kazan is, I guess, more for Mirror Entity, Tempo Mage, I don't know, I mean, it's still not that common, is it? Like, what have I played so far? I played a Warrior today, I played a Hunter, I guess Kazan is good against Hunter. <laughs> I still play in tournaments, um, playing in a tournament like this, this Thursday, the, uh, the WCA Qualifiers. I get a feeling I should actually just trade here because he can ping my 2 1. And it's a break point for this trade, getting it to 3 4. Did we say Gara should have won a lot of cash? I remember. Is that not the same tournament? I remember Dice is like top two were Chinese players, and then Gara got third in the first one. We have many secrets. Alright, that's passable. No mirror entity. Question is, do I want to take the 4 3 here or this one? Because 4 3 is better at trading with my ancient lore. But yeah, it's water mental freezes. I'm actually going to take the 4 3. Here he has two freeze effects. It's kind of weird, but I think I like it. So nice minion. He can't really trade with this or he'll get frozen. <laughs> at, at this point, um, at this point if I get a zombie chow, I'll probably save it in my hand for mirror entity. It's too late to play zombie chow. I mean if it feels turn one I wouldn't save it for sure, but well if he needs three damage next turn. This is frozen next turn too. I like that top deck a lot. I can't play double shade, but it doesn't stop as hard. This stops the attacks. Good thing is uh, I really want to unfreeze my my face for a combo as well. Hope he doesn't have Fireball. Probably does though. Gang Up Rogue is really good against some decks like Grinder Mage. <laughs> it beats Grinder Mage that like, crushes it. I don't know about versus other decks. It, I, it should be good against the um, Milled Mage. Uh, it should be good against Freeze Mage. No Rogue, good against Freeze Mage. Okay. So, six more mana. I will probably play the Shade. Shade, BJH Hero Power. So I probably want, I'm gonna trade this and then th probably like this. So I wanna attack first. Attack one more time first. Have less minions to hit. And also hitting this is good. No, did I miss lethal? What do I have? These two? So, 14, 20, 14, 20, 25. I was one off. That's pretty close. I didn't even think about it for some reason. I thought I was frozen for some reason, but I wasn't. So I'm still one off this turn. I have a keeper. Um, oh, never mind. I might have wanted to just go for a last turn, honestly. 
because I could keep her and finish him. As long as I wasn't scared of dying to Dr. Boom, which probably not, I don't know. I must safeguard the man. I think I have enough minions anyways, like, uh, for his minions to trade, so I don't, I don't see why to, to keep the shade stealth tier. I... Like, if he doesn't kill the shade with his minions, he can kill the BGH or whatever. I mean, I think it was safer to all in. Okay, I get him to one, I think. That's fine. Gotcha. Three. I was swiped, so. <laughs> yeah, she got the dragon consort value. I was, I was thinking maybe he wouldn't get it, but no, this this room is just it's just a computer room. Just it's not I a bedroom. No so my furniture is in my bedroom. 